I will be looking at the main people of any rugby team, the fans from Castleford Tigers to Wakefield Trinity Wildcats to Leeds Rhinos. I will look into what a fan truly is and what makes them proud to support and follow their chosen team. Does he invoke pride or is it because you're lo it's your local team? I ask three people what they think makes a fan of the most violent sport in the world, rugby league. Someone that stands by their team no matter what the outcome of their matches. So tell me about your team. It's with the Wildcats. What do you expect? They get relegated. Ha ha ha. Never gonna happen. What do you think of your neighbours from Featherston and Cass? To be honest, me and my mates, since we support different teams, it doesn't bother me, but we'll pretend it does by saying that Wakey will kick your ass. So just so just think of the banter, really. Are there any Cass fans who take it too far with the banter? Sometimes, but I don't take it to heart. Do you think banter and competition is a good thing to have between fans? It depends on the competitiveness of the fans and also on the personality of other fans. Who in your class is the competitive one when it comes to Wakefield versus Cass or Fev? Um, I don't think there are any Fevston Fev fans in this class. Uh, Emphasise them, I think. But it depends on, on the kind of match, really, on whether the match is a playoff or friendly. Did you take too kindly to one of your ca classmates walking in saying, Lucy, Lucy, what's the score the day after Castleford beat Wakefield 34-18? It didn't bother me, as like I said earlier, I don't take things to, these things to heart. One last question, would you say you were a real rugby fan or is it a sport for you to love and support your team? Well, to be honest, I've not been to a game, but I have watched them, plenty of them at home. And besides, it's kind of a family thing. And as my mum, my dad, uncles, etc. also support Wakefield, and it pe depends on the type of game. I do admit, I do admit to shouting at the television once or twice if that we <laughs> ever think we deserve a try, but wasn't given it. But hey, what do you expect from a Wakey fan? Okay, thank you for your time. I think I have proven you are a real Wakey fan. Thank you for sharing your thoughts with me. No problem. Got a good help. See ya.
something on a documentary. So, what's it like to be a fan of your favourite Super League team? What do you think makes a fan? I think it's the passion behind the people that just go there to support the team. Whether they're in the stands or watching on telly, shouting at the screens. And yeah, basically just the passion, giving it full well every time you support your team. Whether it goes against them or for them, it's just the passion. Interesting. So, tell me about your team. It's Castle for Tigers. What do you expect? <laughs> They get relegated? We've done that twice, we're not doing it a third time, <laughs> you prick. <laughs> so, what do you think of your neighbours from Featherstone and Wakefield? Uh, flat cat bastards and scum cat and scum cats. Hmm. And Wakefield scum cats. That's a load of shit, you know that. So, what do you think of your neighbours from Featherstone and Wakefield? Flat cat bastards and Wankfield scum cats. <laughs> Wakefield fans or Featherstone fans would take it too far with the banter. Not really. Ever since I came to college and found out one of my friends who I consider a sister to um, like Wakefield, I uh, sort of thought if I could get my banter towards her, I thought she'd banter back, but nah, she doesn't take it tight every time I do it. Hmm, interesting. Do you think banter and competition is a good thing to have between fans? Oh, it's a good thing. It's a really bloody good thing. I mean, if you didn't have that competitiveness and banter in a game, well, you might as well be watching football, because there's fuck all there. Hmm, that's good. Who in your class is the competitive one when it comes to Wakefield versus Castleford or Fenster Rovers? Um, when it comes to Wakefield versus Cass, I'd have to say Lucy. I'd have to say my friend Lucy. Hmm, interesting. And for Fev... Not really anyone, because no one supports Fev. Hmm. Did you take to... What, what was the reaction of your friend when you walked into the classroom saying, Lucy, Lucy, what's the score? The day after Castleford beat Wakefield, 34 to 18. I was actually there at that game, and... <coughs> and, well, for one... For one thing, um, I went in and... My friend had not seen the game, and I thought I'd go in and just go, Lucy, Lucy, what's the score? Before I'd just basically go in and I'd say that, and well, yeah. That's bloody heartless. What, okay, one last question. Fuck off. Oi. One, okay, one last question. Would you say you were, were a real rugby fan, or is it a sport for you to love and support your team? I'm a real rugby fan. I love the thing. Fucking mad. <laughs> yes, you are. Okay, thank you for your time. I think I have a problem. I think I've proven you are a real Castleford fan. Thank you for sharing your thoughts with me, you pommy bastard. <laughs> I'm not from London, you twat. <laughs> Fan of your favourite Super League team. What what do you think makes a fan? Or championship team. People wouldn't take it too far, like they would just go screaming their fucking bollocks off. It's fucking horrible, it hurts my fucking ears. So why are you a fan then? What makes you a fan? 
I just love the game and just the people knocking each other out. I see. So tell me about your team. Who's the support? The Featherston Rovers. Burn. Ah. Fucking shit. <laughs> I think it'd be relegated a lot. Yeah. As far as I know, I haven't watched a game in fucking years. <laughs> so what do you think your name is? Wakefield, Trinity Wildcats and Casper Tigers? I think they're fucking shit. <laughs> Castleford anyway. Wakefield, oh, Wakefield aren't too bad, but fucking Castleford. Fuck off, you fat cat bastard. Fuck off, you fat cat bastard. So, do you think there's any of Cast fans who take it too far with the banter, or even Wakey fans? I have more several. You have several? The uh, well, mostly, but it's mostly people from Castleford that take it too far. Ah, right. So how far, how far could they going. make it? How far could they actually take it? The oh, whole fucking riots around town. <laughs> it's fucking horrible. Especially when I'm trying to get to sleep, you know, me and me old age. <laughs> well, so I think you don't think that banter competition is a good thing to have between fans. Well, if you don't take it too far, it is. But if you take it too far, you might as well just so, say, I'm gonna knock the fuck out of you. So, what would you describe to be the perfect banter or competitiveness? Well, just being friendly. Like, not like, if you go like, started talking shit about another team, saying, oh, they were fucking shit. Or not just doing it like friendly, like, oh, your team could have been better, or like, your team did good, but to play you against them. Um. Well, like, oh, yeah, your team are shit, they're bad, fuck. So, out of personal experience, who do you think is the most competitive one when it comes to Wakefield versus Castleford or Preston Rovers? Well, the sure lad I know called Corey Glover likes, likes to take the banter too far. <laughs> Especially with his mate, Sir Wakey Collins, like. So I've heard. Ah. So, do you. T I think it takes stuff like that to heart when they're taking account of your team. Well, yeah, well, if they don't the take it too far, then I don't like much. But if they don't take it too far, then I'm out there with my pitchfork well, and a flipping. I'll ask too you much. a question that's not on the sheet, but who do you think doesn't take the band too far? I feel like that. Well, these other, like this other lass I know called Lucy doesn't take it too far. She's a friendly person, ah, you know. She's very friendly. Any fancies She hates Castleford, but, but she is very friendly. Andy fancies her. <laughs> anyway, one, one last question before you go, if you don't mind. Lay it on me, lass. Um, would, you say, would you say you're a real rugby fan, or is it just the support for your team and the love for the sport itself? Well, the sport is good, you know, but as I said earlier, the team is fucking shit. If it were me, I'd rather stick with Wakey. Oh, so you, so you, you began as a Wakey fan? Well, fucking yeah. So what made you change? I He's a stupid You moved to Featherston. And I was forced to like start liking Featherston even though I know the fucking shit. I'm a true wakey fan of art. Put it there. Put it there. It's alright, love. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? Can I go? Well, well, thank you for your time. I think we've just established that. Featherston? Wakey truly are the best. And you, once you, once you wake your barn, wake your bed, there's no way you're going to Most definitely last night. If you'll excuse me, I've got some writing to do around cast. <laughs>